Gun about the camera, Russell. Yeah, there we are, Russell. There you are. Now you're here. You're That's right. Now this is Eris Fleming's little studio. How many paintings do you have on the go at once? Oh, about thirty. It's not hard to actually switch from one painting to another because you've got a mental idea of, in your head where you, where you were with it. Okay. So you can easily stop and start. Okay. Contrary to what a lot of people think is you, you can't I don't do know. it. You can. There's a lot put it this way, there's a lot more to it than people think. That's the that's the most important or the, the most critical thing when you get talking to people is they think painting's just happen. So what it just has to appear like it just happened? Yeah. A good painting appears like it just happened. But in fact it, they never do. That's the that is the most important thing. Or the critical thing. If it doesn't appear like it just happened then it's like it's just a foul picture. And, and yet where does it really come from? It comes from a lot of hard work. And, you know, stopping and starting and struggle. It's like writing a book or anything else. It doesn't just happen at all. There's a lot of hard writing and a lot of angst goes into it. And um, that's the part that is lost in the community. Do you ever get a inspiration overnight and leap up and say, hey, I've got to do this painting? Well, I, 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 do, I do. I wake up with it, but I keep a notebook beside my bed. So when I wake up, I scribble it down and then no. go back to sleep. This is, I'm making up my own paint stick, a thing called a paint stick. You can buy them. Um, and they're made, they're made out of Basically, pigment, oil, and cores. I like textures that are different to the ones that you buy commercially. So I'm experimenting with um, these here, and I heat them up. They're just pigments suspended in oil and wax. Or sort of waxy sort of thing that you paint with. Wax? Yeah. Do I paint with? Yeah. The, you the, end up with a stick. Yeah. And you treat it, it's very much like, um, it's, it's very much like a um, very thick impasto paint. But you paint as like, with a pencil, big, thick colouring pencil. Go on. What is it? That's and that's painted with a, a wax pencil, um, an oil-based pencil, and then you rework over that and over and over and over it. You know, eight or ten times, and you get you, you build up your picture. So that's all different parts of um, the, the a pencil. These are I'll show you. A pencil. So these are ones I made myself. You, you layer different layers of those paints all over them. Let them dry and rework it till you come up with the image you've got. Now that's a totally different way of putting paint on to with a brush and oil paint. Good grief. And, and the, the, the outline of the cat there, yep. is that just under, is a rough... Yeah, that's guide. just an underpainting for it. Just asking the basic there. question, why is Marilyn on the wall? Ah. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> just because the kids gave Eris those posters for one of his birthdays or Christmas or something like that. Yeah. So put you. All right, what do we got? He's got his. You've got. You got to lead me to the paintings to <laughs> show me what's there. Oh, do you want me to turn the lights on? No, it's it's no? finally. This has got very good low. Intensity, uh... Well, you can look at the paintings over there. <laughs> Move your camera back under the paint. Yeah, yeah. So what's that? That's, um, 
tense final overs in failing light. Well, we'll be the patrons. Well, you got you got to uh, explain your paintings to me. Shanghai's. All right. It's nice and cool in here, it must be well insulated. It is well insulated. Yeah, basically yeah. come because they know Eris's paintings yeah. and they like them yeah. and they want a little bit of happiness and colour in their life, I think, yeah. more than anything. So they're, they're and sometimes too, uh, uh, some people, it is a little tiny bit of a trip down memory lane. They come here and they see something that reminds them of something in their past. Mm -hmm.